Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add buttons to your ConvertKit emails so that you can draw even more attention to where you want people to click. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new videos every single week to help you grow your online business. So if you're looking to do that, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, let's get started. All right, so before I get into today's tech tutorial, there may be a few of you wondering what ConvertKit is. ConvertKit is the email marketing software that I use and love. It has made my life so much easier and my marketing way more enjoyable as well. I do have a video on why I use ConvertKit, so I'll make sure to link to that above and in the description below. And I will also leave a link so that you can get started with a free trial. So for today's tutorial though, I'm going to show you how to add buttons to your emails. There are two main ways in which you can do this. The first you may already be aware of, and that's adding a button that is already connected to your form. So let me explain. If you go over here and you click create form, and then you select a form. So this is how someone signs up for your email list. And I'll just choose the simple design here. Okay, you're going to click settings and then incentive email. And you'll see that they already have a button here for you. So this is the email that is automatically attached to your form if you choose to do this, of course. This is optional, but it is an easy way to get a button and you can deliver your lead magnet or your freebie. So you can click here to edit your subject line. You can edit this area here. And what I like is you can also edit what the button says. So I would change this to download your freebie. Now, automatically it will use it as a double opt-in, meaning that new subscribers will only be confirmed if they actually click on the button. But if you want, you can click auto confirm new members to change that. And then to attach your freebie, you just change this to incentive download, and then you upload your file right there. So this is one way to do that. That's already a button. And the look is actually controlled over here under content. You click on the magic wand over here and the button will match the button color of your form. So for example, I just click here and I could add in my brand hex code here or just select a color. Okay, and click okay. So that is also going to change that confirmation email. So this is what it will look like when someone receives that email, the button color has changed here as well. All right, so the second way is what I really wanted to show you because I only started doing this recently, and that's adding a button within your regular broadcast or newsletter emails. So the first thing that you need to do though is make sure that you're using a template that has the button code already in. So if you click on your profile picture up here and then you click account settings and then email templates up here, You'll see that ConvertKit already has some templates for you to use. So you want to select either the classic or the modern. So you're just going to click use this template. And then you're going to go into your broadcast and create a new broadcast. This is where you decide who you want it to go to. So I'll just send it to everyone. Not really. <laughs> and then over to content. Okay, and you would type in your subject here. And then you're going to type in your email. Okay, and let's say we want to add a button below this. So you're going to click the return key on your keyboard and line up your mouse with wherever you want this button to go. Then you're going to go up here to this icon. When you hover over it, it will say HTML. Click on that. And then you just need to add in a bit of code. So I will leave this in the description below. It is just one simple line, just like this. So you're going to copy that, go back into your email, paste that in, and then you're going to click the HTML icon again. 
and you'll see that it just looks like a regular link, right? So then what you need to do is you're going to click on it, click edit, and here is where you would place the URL. So let's say I want people to go to my website and then I want to change the text. Right now it says a button to my site. I'm going to change this to go to website and it's up to you if you want to this to open up in a new tab. So sure, I will check that and I'm going to click edit and that is what it's going to look like when you're editing. But then when you click on browser, you'll see that it is now a button. Now there is a way to change the color of this. It is slightly more complicated. Um, so if you don't want to, you can skip that, but I will show you how to do that right now. So in order to do that, you need to go back into your account settings and then email templates. And then you're going to grab that modern one. So click on the modern template and then you're going to copy all of the code. Okay, go back to all templates and then you're going to click new email template and you are going to paste that in here. And you can title this just your custom template, let's say. Okay, so you will see this code and if you scroll down, you're just looking for where it says button. And if you want, you can change this where it says background. You can change the 777 to your brand color. All right, so I've got my hex code and I'm going to highlight the 777 and paste mine in instead. You can also change what happens on hover. I'm just going to keep it the same for now. So I'm also going to change the background there. And where you see FFF, that is the color of your text. So if you want, you could also change this, but you can leave it if you want it to be white. All right, so I'm gonna click save on this custom template and then I'm going to select use this template down here and that's going to ensure that my custom template is used for all of my ConvertKit emails. So then I'm going to go back into that broadcast that we were working on. Okay, edit broadcast and then content. All right, so here is our content. Then I'm going to click browser and as you can see, now the button has changed to my brand color. So that's all that you need to do to change the color. Again, that is a bit more advanced, so you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I did want to include that in there for you in this tutorial. And that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up or hitting subscribe below, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.